Hey guys, it's Cthulhu here. So, um, here I am killing the Queen Black Dragon, but this video is not really going to be about the Queen Black Dragon herself. It's more about me and my day, because this is the vlog after all. So, um, so yeah, I was one of the first people to get onto the game to kill the Queen Black Dragon. Um, I'd already fully prepared, because I'd seen the hour's notice as well. So I was fully prepared. I had melee and range with me, thinking that a combination of attacks might help me. And, uh, and it seems like it does help. I mean, it seems like it's best to range it it but uh but there are phases where maybe using melee is best but uh, I, I haven't used melee much at all really um as you can see in this in this attempt i'm using range um but yeah because i was one of the first people to try and kill the queen black dragon unfortunately it meant that i became a victim of the uh, of the grave glitch and if you don't know what that is that is where basically you got a grave but none of your items appeared under it and that happened because so many people died uh, there were really a lot of items on the floor and um, and the game can't handle it when there are too many items on the floor It just doesn't show the surplus so um, so yeah I couldn't see my armor and uh, and obviously it had a big effect because I lost everything that was in the grave And the worst thing is uh, is I took Bandos for uh, for my melee setup But for my range setup I decided to take Kirill's skirt and Kirill's top I also decided to take swift gloves because double arrows is just incredibly good um for for your range setup um and i also took varax helm because i thought i don't want to use nate helm i think varax helm in this situation might be best obviously it was my first kill and well pretty much everybody's first kill so no one knew what to expect so i thought varax was a good choice and uh, and once i died um the obvious things i wanted to save were things that would have fallen on the floor and degraded and cost me even more money so um so i kept my varax helm i kept my kirill skirt and top and i kept my swift gloves because those were would have degraded into money it would have degraded into 9.5k i believe it was um but that also meant therefore that i was leaving bandos chest plate uh bandos tasset fury steadfast boots and dragon claws on the floor along with my chaotic crossbow my chaotic rapier and my eagle eye kite shield and those were the items that i lost so roughly about 80 mil i lost in cash value and 600k in terms of dungeoneering tokens so it was quite a heavy loss and um, and yeah once again jagex have just disappointed me and disappointed a lot of people i mean when you have this kind of update you hope that they do the proper tests and apparently they did do some tests to uh, to ensure that it wouldn't happen they had like mass grave tests to to ensure that your items would still appear but obviously however many they decided would be enough to die in their tests was not enough they they obviously calculated it very very wrong or they made a mistake in their testing somehow and and yeah it didn't work out because there was still a bug and and yes yeah, so, i mean if you didn't know about that that's why you're getting graves all over the place i don't know if that's still happening actually but you're getting graves all over port sarim now because uh, they don't want so many items being left on the floor in such a small space right outside the queen black dragon lair so they've given us now three areas where your graves might appear uh directly outside the lair on the uh on the first level of the whole dungeon or on port serim or rather in port serim so um so yeah that was that was a bad start to the day and i mean it got worse i guess you could say because what i did do is um i wasn't going to rebuy all my stuff especially especially the dungeoneering stuff but what i did do is uh, i bought armadils um and I, I went to kill the queen black dragon in the armadils that you're probably seeing me kill it in now but also glory um i accidentally still had dragon boots on um i even had a, a rune crossbow so uh, so what i would have considered welfare gear basically i mean what else can you call it it's uh it's what 30 30k glory and a 10k wound crossbow that's that's pretty welfare and um and yeah so so that is what i had to use to try and kill the queen black dragon fortunately i never got to it because i kept having problems on the final stage with the force spirits they just kept KOing me and, and also the other problem is i i not only did i have the force spirits to deal with but then I would also get firewalls and, and all this other stuff at inconvenient times. And I guess you could say I panicked, even though I didn't really feel like I was panicking at all. Panicking at all. Maybe my, my thinking went out the window and I wasn't making the right decisions. But um, but yeah, I, I just couldn't get past that stage with the four spirits. Um, 
and yeah, I mean, I, I hope to do it when I when I hopefully once this whole uh, once this whole grave glitch thing is is sorted out, then I hope to be able to get an Elysian and maybe some Pernix as well, and and then try and do it with both you know increased defense and increased HP as well, because any Pernix item and plus also the the bonus you get from making a bonfire that will that will help greatly. And also another thing that I didn't do in this video that I would change is uh is my prayers. Um, I should have been using uh. I should have been using normal prayers for uh, for whatever the the ranged version thingy is called. Um, is it called rigor? I think so. I can't remember anymore. I don't remember these things very well for some reason. So uh, so yeah. And then also something that I haven't mentioned though, only in part, is the fact that there is a chance that I might get my items back. Uh, Jagex did create a post saying if you lost any items and it's a legitimate claim, then post what you lost. Post the value of those items. And we'll see what we can do. No promises, no guarantees, but uh, uh, at least there's some hope there. Um, one thing I did forget to do in that post, though, is I forgot to tell them I also lost my dragon claws. But uh, but to be honest, if they return all the other items back to me, I'm not going to complain about not getting my dragon claws back when, at the end of the day, I, I will have retrieved 70 mil worth of items and also three dungeoneering items. That that will be more than enough. I can I can let go of that that dragon claws at, and. Um, and yes, that's what I'm hoping for. And and once once that is finalised, that's when I'll consider killing the QBD again. Um, and also, I mean, until I kill it, I won't be able to wear my completion escape, which is pretty annoying. I don't understand why they've done that. I mean, you don't, you know, there's no requirements to kill next. There's no requirements to kill King Black Dragon and Cow Fight Queen. Why should there be a requirement to kill the Queen Black Dragon? If you want to kill it, then kill it. If you don't want to, there shouldn't be, you know, there shouldn't be a requirement to do it for a completion escape. So I'm I'm quite disappointed that they have that. Um but yeah, so so I definitely have to kill the Queen Black Dragon at some stage if I'm going to get my completions back even if it's not worth the uh, the items that you get for drops. Anyway, that was that was basically my day and then later on after after I'd given up killing the Queen Black Dragon, I find out that uh, that the armadill that I had bought as my welfare gear had crashed. So uh, so that wasn't that great either. Um, they have the new range gear from the Royal Dehyde, and uh, and yeah, that seems to be pretty pretty decent. I mean, it's just a, I think it's just a bit less accuracy than uh, than Armadale in terms of range. Um, it does still have like minus thirteen magic defense against Armadales. So I mean, if you're if you're looking for for range attack bonus and magic defense, then Armadales is still the way to go. But the fact that the that the you know the two sets of armor are still pretty close means that armadillo is probably going to crash quite a bit Kirill's is is may as well be dead in the water now and um and yeah this new armor this new armor is going to be pretty cheap because it's not that hard to to get these hides well basically you're guaranteed to get the hides from killing the queen black dragon so it, it won't be long until there's enough hides to make the uh, the armor very very cheaply um so yeah, that was another huge blow, the fact that I lost money with Armadillos and Kirills. I mean, obviously not as much as losing 80 mils worth of items, but still but still something. And and you know what, I have to say it, but also one thing that really depresses me is the fact that, that Jagex made this mistake. It's their fault and, and they didn't do something straight away to try and fix it. I mean, they knew about the issue within like five minutes. Um, and I'm sure they keep an eye on the forums and they know about issues straight away because you really should do it. If, if the company's not keeping an eye on the game just after an update is released, looking for bugs or anything that they might have to fix very, very quickly, um, then that's then that's just that's just a really bad, bad idea for them. Um, so, yeah, I'm sure they learned about the, the Grave Glitch straight away and I can't understand why they didn't just roll it back as soon as possible because they probably could have could have decided to roll back the game within five minutes of the update and it would have had such little impact on, on people not affected and, and on the other hand, it would have, you know, saved them from having to do a lot of work and it would have saved us from, from losing our items and, and having to deal with this whole situation as well. So I'm disappointed there with the Jagex, but also I'm just disappointed just generally because you know when when they announce something like the queen black dragon you think to yourself that an amazing you know an amazing new item is going to come out hopefully with the with the dragon kite shield even though it wasn't but also all the other things the crossbow the the dragon bone kits as well you know they're they're releasing all this awesome stuff and lots of people are obviously going to do this not just for a new experience not just for a new challenge but to make a bit of money as well and instead of making money i just lost a lot of money a lot of money 
in a, in a safe game and it's it's depressing when when you've been building this up in your head all along and other people are building it up as well and and then you're disappointed because you know an opportunity to make money has become a situation where you've lost money and are now hoping that uh that you do get a good item not because you're going to make a profit from it but because you want to regain some of the value you just lost because of jagex's incompetence so uh so that was a bit disappointing and then just quickly about the drop so the crossbow i like the look of the crossbow it only looks like it's going to be good for uh for necks and also for um for the corporal beast because you have to attack it 10 times you have to attack the npc you're killing 10 times before the bow is charged and once it's charged it's then doing its normal damage but beforehand it's just useless so um so it has to be a long battle for it to be really effective so necks and corporal beast are the only two places i can think of where it'll be really good i guess queen black dragon is another place as well but uh but seeing as that the drops aren't you know aren't worth the amount that you use in terms of saradomin brews probably isn't worth going to qbd at all um then the dragon kite hugely disappointing it's only a few stats better than uh, than dragon square i mean i didn't expect it to be the greatest item in the world but i certainly didn't expect it to be that bad also dragon bone kit i think that's probably the best thing about the update i love the look of the the kits i love the look of dragon armor with it i've seen infinity with it as well i don't like that as much uh, but I, I wouldn't complain about it, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, I think it looks better on on Dragon Armor, especially the Dragon Full Helm. That just looks incredible. Uh, one really annoying thing, though, is the fact that you can't use the Dragon Bone Kit on the new Dragon Kite Shield, which makes you wonder what Jagex are thinking there. I mean, why give you a new set look, a new look for Dragon Armor, uh, but not allow you to use it on the final piece of armor they just released? That doesn't make much sense at all. But yeah, hopefully we see Dragon Pwn for the Kite Shield and also Ornament and Spiked for the Kite Shield as well. I want to see that as soon as possible. Anyway, guys, that's that's enough for this uh, for this vlog. Um, I don't think it was that enjoyable telling you all my miseries for the day. But hey, this is this is my vlog and, and that's what happened to me. And whether it was depressing or not, you know, that's that's life. Anyway, guys, hopefully my, my situation gets resolved very soon and I can kill the QBD and maybe hopefully get a few decent items. Even though I'm not going to make my money back from the Saradomin brews I use, I still want to have as much fun with the update as possible when I can finally kill it. Um, but yeah, until, until the next vlog, guys, thanks for watching and see you around.